Okay, I've got these two printers um, installed on this computer called PrintServe, and they're set up shared, as you can see here, by browsing to the computer. So what we're going to do is deploy these two printers through um, security groups and group policy. I plan to deploy printer one to members of one security group, and I plan to deploy both printers, printer two and printer one, to members of another security group, setting printer two as the default for those users. Let's begin by creating a couple security groups. Um, the first one I'm going to add here, I'm just going to call printer one. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put a description in so it's easy to figure out what this group is. And I'm going to go ahead and add a member to this group. Any of my user accounts. I'm going to do um, user level targeting for these based on these groups. And now we'll create a group for the second printer. And add a description to this group as well. I'm also going to put a, another um, another one of my users, domain users, in this group. Okay, so now we have two separate groups, uh, each with one individual domain user in the group for now. So let's jump over to the group policy editor. And I'm going to add a new group policy object. Give it some kind of descriptive name. And now I'm going to add a second group policy object for the second printer. And we can right click on the first GPO, drill down into user configuration, preferences, and printers. Right click new shared printer. I'm going to leave the action as update. And we'll put in the printer path here, or you can browse to the printer if it's listed in the directory. And I'm going to set this as default for this GPO and group. And we'll go up to common, go to item level targeting. And we're going to add a security group. So here I'm just going to search for the group. This is printer one GPO, so I'm going to do the printer one group. All right. That's our security group for this GPO. Click OK. Apply it. That's it for this GPO because I'm only going to deploy the one printer to this group. Now the next GPO I'm going to deploy both printers and I'm going to set printer 2 as the default. So let's go back in, drill down into printers, do a new shared printer, 
So it's the same thing. We'll do update and enter the shared printer path. Now we'll go back up to the common tab and item level targeting and we're going to select um, the second security group we created. Okay, so this is the second group we created. It's the first printer. And we'll apply that and click OK. And now we'll add the second printer. Same thing, we'll enter the path, leave it on update. This is the second printer. I'm going to set that as default. Go back into common, item level targeting, our security group. And it's also going to be the printer 2 group. So members of printer 2 will get printer 2 as default with printer 1 also installed. Members of printer 1 will simply get printer 1 installed and set as the default. Apply it, click OK. That's it. Um, let's go ahead and leak those GPOs into the domain. I'm going to go back into that first workstation, workstation 1, where my user account, Edmino, is logged in. And I'm going to do a GP update slash force. Now this account gets both printers, printer 1 and printer 2, with printer 2 it's set as the default. So when I do this update, my printer should be populated automatically. There you go, both installed. So let's jump over to workstation 2 where I have user 1 install or logged in. And we'll do the same. Go to command, do a GP update, slash force. And it will install printer 1 and set it as the default. That's it. Um, security group and group policy objects to deploy network printers. Printer 1, user 1, user Edmino, both printers with printer 2 as default.